This tutorial is going to cover how to add an IK handle control to the arm joint. Um, in my scene, I have previously created my FK controls um, and I've duplicated the arm three times and placed on separate um, display layers because I'm eventually going to be adding an IK FK switch. So you can find out how I got to this point in the previous tutorials. I'm just going to turn on the visibility of my IK bones and I've got them in the outliner just named with the suffix IK so I know which one are which. The first thing that I'm going to do is create the controllers for the IK. So you can create whatever um, shape that you want but for this I'm just going to do something quite simple. I'm going to create a NURBS circle and I'm going to go into the top view here and select every other one, that one as well. scale it in to create something like this okay um, and this is what I'm going to use uh, on my wrist I'm going to move this and snap it to the wrist by holding down V with my move tool selected, middle mouse dragging and that's going to snap to the centre of the wrist joint. I'm just going to um, rotate it 90 degrees so I'm holding down J to snap, rotate it like that and I'm going to hold down J and just rotate like that as well. There we go. So this is what I will grab when I want to use the IK handle. I'm going to um, freeze transformations on this um, and then I'm going to name it. So this is going to be my uh, left IK handle control. Um, and as I did in the previous tutorial, I'm going to use a group on this so that I can orientate the controller to the bone because at the minute it's currently offset from the orientation. So I will control G, I'm going to grab this, control C, control V, and then name this offset group. And I'm also going to modify to the pivot. I'm going to select the wrist joint and then in the outline I'm going to control click the group then I'm going to go to constrain parent make sure maintain offset is uncheck and hit apply. This is now orientated the controller with the bone and if I select it it still has all the zero control zero um, settings because the group contains the information and we don't want that on the handle and then I'm just going to delete that parent constraint. So now the controller is um, correctly orientated with the wrist and then I'm going to create a locator and the locator is what I'm going to use for the control of the elbow. I'm going to go into my move tool, hold down V middle mouse drag and position it just here in line with the elbow okay so we need to name it this so this will be the left elbow pull vector control and i'm just going to modify freeze the transforms on that as well okay so we've created our controls now what we are going to do is to create the IK handle. To do this, I can go to skeleton, create IK handle, I'm going to open the options and we want to use the rotate plane solver. This allows us to use the pole vector to um, control the elbow. And then you can either do this in the viewport or if that's too tricky you can also do it in the um, outliner. I'm going to select the shoulder first 
and then the wrist. And this has created the IK handle. And if I move this around, we can see that that is working correctly. Okay. What we want is to be able to select this controller and move this and that move the IK. So I'm going to take the IK handle in the outliner, middle mouse drag and place it inside the controller. Okay. So now when I select the controller, this is moving the IK handle instead. So that's what we want. We want to use this controller to control the elbow. So in order to do that, we select the controller and then I'm going to control click the IK handle in my outliner and then I'm going to go to constrain pole vector and now we can see that this controller, this locator here is controlling the elbow for us. So that's our IK arm setup. The only thing that you, you might wish to come in and do is to um, select these and change the colour. So I had I was using red for the um, FK, so I'm going to use um, yellow for this. 